what is up everybody it's your boy nick stacks back at it again with another video today we are going to be doing a nice review on my nissan 350z nismo so i'm going to be talking about everything where i got the car from problems that i've encountered so far because so far i've owned this car for like a good week and a half and there's some things here and there that needs to be worked on. I'm not gonna say this is the perfect car. So anyways, first off, this is my magnetic black 2007 Nissan 350Z Nismo. It's in pretty decent shape. It's a nice all black Nismo, you can't go wrong. First things first, I did own the 350Z previously and I upgraded to this car because one, the engine is different. This is a VQ35 HR, not a DE, this is a HR. My old Z was a DE, so I upgraded to HR. As you know, I was looking for a HR and then I stumbled upon this Nismo. So I just saved all my money and I just blew my bag and went bankrupt pretty much buying this car. But let's start from the front. So first off, as you can see on this Nismo, it comes with this Nismo OEM original front bumper. I know you've probably seen a lot of Zs with this front bumper, but it would either be like Vicrez or it would be like KBD. This is honestly a original Nissan part, a original Nismo bumper. It comes paint matched right here. And then on the bottom where the lip is, it's like a gray. Let me see if I can get in the light. It's like a gray color. So yeah, that's the first thing that's different. It comes with the Nismo bumper, HR hood. If you guys didn't know, the HR has the bump in the hood and the DE's has like the two lines coming down the hood. These are like the 06 to 08 headlights. Moving on to the side, it comes with these Nismo Rays. These are the Nismo Rays wheels pretty much comes on this car or you could buy them like off the street usually people put these on their normal z's but yeah it comes with these in like a gunmetal gray and as you can see like it has like the like the engraving for the rays but yeah they're pretty clean wheel honestly they look good on the car like for a stock wheel these look amazing the wheel is a 18 by 9 in the front and a 19 by 10 in the back so they do come staggered. Let me show you the back real quick. They do come staggered. And they're pretty clean, honestly. Yeah, as you could tell, I'm gonna show you guys all the flaws. This guy curb rashed the shit out of all of these. This is the cleanest wheel, honestly. This one on the front, the driver side, it's the cleanest wheel. This one, my boy got hungry and took a chomp out of it. And then that one, yeah, it's curb rash city. Nothing I can't fix, but I'm pretty much gonna probably get aftermarket wheels. Also in the front, this car comes equipped with drill slotted rotors on the front and the back. And it also comes with Brembo brakes. So this car stops on the dime. That's one thing my other Z had a problem with. It did not stop. Like the stopping on that car was terrible, but on this, it stops right on time. The car came with Kumo tires on the front and the back. They're equipped with 245, 40, 18s on the front, and then 265, 35, 19s on the back. Let's move on to the back now. Oh, and don't mind the car. It might be a little dirty because I haven't washed it yet. It has the 06 to 08 LED tail lights. The Nismo, this is a Nismo wing for the car. And then it has the Nismo badge right there. And it also has this rare bumper. And let me tell you guys, the reason why I love this car so much is because of how aggressive the rear end is. Like this rear end is so aggressive and the side skirts in the front, is just like so perfect. Like the normal Z, is nice but this car honestly if i really wanted to i could keep it stock body just like this 
for a long time and just do straight performance mods and really enjoy this car. Let's go down here to the exhaust. I don't know if you guys could see that. Nismo. This is the stock exhaust for the Nismo. It's its own exhaust and it sounds really good. I'm not gonna lie. It sounds really good compared to stock. It's not that quiet. Intakes is the only mod and test pipes is the only mod. Oh, and he did put spacers on the front and the back. I'm not sure what size spacers, but the front and the back do have spacers. That's why the fitment is perfect, honestly, because they usually are sunken in just a little bit, but those spacers do justice. Let me see if I can show you guys this paint too. It's honestly beautiful. I think you guys could see it right there. I'm not sure. It's like black with sparkles in it. We got the Nismo skirts. These come on the car as well. So we do have, let me see if I can see this. There's like a little ding right here on the passenger side door. It kind of looks worse on camera. It's not as big as it looks in person. So we have that ding right there. That's problem number one. The biggest problem is this car needs us full detail. Like, I don't know if you guys can see that, but this thing looks scratched up, swirl marks everywhere. This thing needs a full detail. Problem number three is that the wheels need to get refinished. They're curb rashed right here. The side skirt does have like a little scratch, but that's not a big problem to me. Another problem, this antenna needs to get replaced. Honestly, the shit is, shit is garbage. I'm gonna throw that shit in the trash. Another problem with my Nismo is this right here. See, and I'm gonna keep it real. I'm gonna show you guys everything about this car so you guys know everything about this car. I'm not gonna make it look like the cleanest car in the world because it isn't. So yeah, they got this. It's like a little, little scuff mark on the back bumper. By the way, oh, this door handle is also broken. So I gotta let the windows wind down. But yeah, that window winds down, and then you just open it from the inside. All right, so now that we're inside the car, let's talk about this interior. So first off, I'm gonna talk about this dash piece. Honestly, the dash is very clean. Now let's talk about this right here. This little cubby, everything works by the way, like this works, this, the car is also number 329, if you guys were wondering. 0329. If you guys didn't know, all Nismos come with this badge. Yeah, the center console right here, or not the center console, but this cubby is pretty much destroyed, scratched up. If you guys know about Z's disc, stuff gets scratched up so easy. I could run my finger on it right now and it'll scratch it, but I'm not gonna do that. Anyways, yeah, this got to get resprayed. This right here needs to be resprayed. This needs to be resprayed. Everything else is pretty solid. I'm surprised this door uh, window module is pretty clean. Only on the inside it's kind of scuffed. But yeah, it's pretty clean. And if you guys didn't know, the normal Z comes with all black. The Nismo comes with this right here. That comes with like a red stitching. Now let's move on to the steering wheel and the speedo or tachometer. So the tack for the Nismo comes with a special Speedo for the RPMs right here. As you can see, it's a Nismo special and it comes in white. Then we have the steering wheel, which is pretty eight and on the top but nothing too crazy because honestly, I don't really like aftermarket steering wheels. So this one's pretty solid. It comes with all the buttons for volume on the radio. By the way, it's stock radio and it has all the cruise control buttons. So yeah, if you get tuned, these buttons are useful. And usually my, my old Z was a base model. It didn't have none of this. So over here, we have the gas, the gas button and the traction control. This is turn traction control off. You could spin some tires, do whatever you want. So we go down here and here's the aluminum pedals. My other one didn't have these. Mine's had the black plastics because it was also a base model. Oh yeah, and right here on the steering wheel as well also has red stitching. 
So now this is the shift knob. Honestly, it's not in the best shape. I ordered a new one and it's on the way, so stay tuned for that. That's gonna get switched out. The shift boot right here comes with a little red stitching on it. Not bad, it's just a little faded. Going on to this side, the window module. That shit is scratched up. Wolverine had fun on this side. I'm gonna need to definitely probably get a new one of that. All right, as you guys can see, the Nismo comes with special seats. It comes with black seats, like the normal stock one. But on the inside, it comes with red. And I'm not gonna lie, the previous owner kept the interior very clean. Then we got the center console. My old Z did not have this, which is a cup holder. The normal cubby that the Zs have. Pop this hood. Oh, where is it? All right, we're gonna pop this hood. All right, so here we go, guys. This is the VQ35HR. Honestly, this is probably a super clean base to start off from. So, this is a VQ35HR. These motors are superior to the DEs and the rev ups. This is by far the best motor you can get in a Z. This motor comes from the 2007-2008 Nissan 350Z. Now the difference is he put intakes on which comes with stock air boxes usually when you buy these cars and the Nismo comes with this right here. Alright so this is the trunk guys honestly it's pretty clean. I don't know if this is the stock carpet piece or not because my other one did have a 350Z symbol on it but yeah it's pretty clean car came with a spare tire cars clean oh let me show you guys this. It's a Nismo part for the car. It's made by Yamaha. That comes with the Nismo. So yeah, that's just a little nice touch for the Nismo, if you guys are wondering. This is the trunk. Pretty spacious, not too spacious though. Can't really put anything tall in here. All right, so now let's talk about where I got it from, who I got it from, and why I bought this car. So first things first is like I said, this is a 2007 Nissan 350Z HR Nismo in magnetic black. So this car, I live in Florida by the way, if you guys were wondering. So this car came all the way from upstate New York. If you guys know what Albany, New York is, this is where this car came from. I bought this car from an older guy. He was like 38 years old and I knew like the first thing was damn a car coming from new york maybe this car might be rusted out i never met the guy before maybe this car is damaged but no that's not the case so this guy barely drove this car he owned it for six years and only put 25 to 30 thousand miles on this car out of six years this car's been garage kept and it's upstate new york so it's not where people are hitting the car left and right let me show you guys what the miles is. Drop in the comments below what you think the miles is on this car. You guys ready? 90,118 miles. I'm not going to lie, it was 90,000 on the dot, but I've been enjoying it driving. Oh, another thing I forgot to mention. This car did come with a stage 3 South Bend clutch. I don't know if it has an upgraded flywheel or not. It's really hard to drive. I had to get used to it. So like the first week, I've just been driving around and enjoying the car. But now I'm pretty much used to it. You just got to give it more gas, if anything. I'm not going to disclose a price, but for the price I bought this car, honestly, I could have bought a normal HR for it. That's all I'm saying. With the same amount of miles I got this car for, I could have bought a normal HR, but the deal that this guy gave me, I couldn't pass up. The guy drove it from New York at 89,000 miles and made it at 90K miles and brought it to me. So number one, I knew the car was driving good because it made it from New York all the way to Florida. And number two, I took it to the DMV the same day I got it. They checked the VIN, make sure it wasn't stolen, nothing's wrong with the car, not no chop shop bullshit. Everything is solid on this car. So yeah, honestly, it was a 
super come up and I love this car to death. Stay tuned, there's gonna be a lot of new content coming out with this car. I'm on the road to 1,000 subscribers. I know we could reach it before summertime. I can't drive the car and show you guys how it sounds and drive. Well, I could start the car, but I can't drive the car right now because as you can see, I don't have plates yet. I'm waiting for them to come in and the car's not insured. So yeah, once the car gets insured and I get plates for the car, I'm gonna be dropping the video where I drive the car. Here we go, nice little cold start for you boys. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys slap that like button. If you guys are new, subscribe. It's your boy Nick Stocks, a.k.a. Nismo Nick. I'm out. Peace. See, hey, you my dog for real. It's guaranteed we gonna eat. See, by any means, he feeling foggy, tell the nigga leap. I put another hole in one you feet. Since I started rapping, I can live in peace. All of this feather really got me weak. I'm trying to do better, but it's getting deep. See, I'm from Toronto.